What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so today we have got a huge H&M try on haul for you for autumn winter 2022. The first H&M haul of the season. Some very nice bits, like just look at the rail. It looks like H&M have absolutely smashed it. So let's try it all on. I'll link everything in the description like I usually do. So go and have a look down there. And if you do enjoy the video guys, don't forget to drop it a like. It just really helps the channel out. So we're gonna start off with all the jackets we've got. We've got quite a few like overshirts, jackets, shackets, because I feel like it's that sort of season, isn't it? And the flannels usually from H&M are like my favorite. I've got two down there that I wear all the time. So we've got a couple of flannels, a couple of overshirts, but this is the first item I wanna try on. So it's like a, a longer trench coat. This in a size large, what's the price? It's annoying that it doesn't have the price on the tag. I'll put all the prices on the screen anyway for you, but I don't think it was too expensive. I'll tell you what, I'm kind of digging this, you know. It feels like quite nice and lightweight, like it's not too heavy. Really nice. The only one thing I'll say is a little bit short on the sleeves, which is a little bit annoying. I think it's supposed to be worn like over a suit most of the time, isn't it? People wear it on the commute and stuff like that. But in a really nice like colour, feels decent material, water resistant as well. Sip it up. Good quality zipper, decent quality, it's got press studs as well. It's like Inspector Gadget, that's the sort of jacket this is. I do quite like it, like a bit of a, a longer trench coat kind of thing. Not bad, size large is good for me. Don't know if it's something I'd wear a lot, but if you're in the market for a, like an affordable trench jacket, longer coat, have a look at it. Hopefully you've just not got orangutan arms like me, because most of the time when I order something, it comes up short on my arms. So the next item we're gonna go with is this waterproof, water repellent windbreaker jacket in a nice stony beige color. Again, in a size large. Not sure what I think about this. The one thing that I don't like is this netting on the inside. You know, it doesn't feel nice at all. Like, if you've ever owned anything like this, even like track pants, arm track pants have this inside. I don't like it at all. It feels weird, like, it makes me feel hot already and it's not even hot. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. I'm not a big fan at all. If you're in the market for a windbreaker jacket, go and check out the Sulfit clothing ones, guys. Just look. Look at it, it's an absolute beauty. We've got them in shadow grey and triple black. We're going to be restocking them for Black Friday as well. So keep your eyes peeled. And as well, don't forget, 30th of October, towards the end of this month, 7pm, we've got the brand new Tech Stretch cargo pants dropping in charcoal and black. And we've also got a restock of the premium t-shirts in two colours as well, guys. So keep an eye out for that. Sign up to the mailer below. But yeah, these windbreakers are much better than this H&M one. It's not ideal. These are the twill overshirts that I'm a big big fan of these are the ones that i recommend on my instagram all the time 25 quid and if you want like a bit of a, a decent heavyweight material overshirt with loads of different designs these are definitely the ones Cine size large they just fit me bang on like it's just a perfect fit like they actually fit my arms as well perfectly a really nice color they've got loads of colors on the website but they do sell out pretty quick so if you do want to pick one up definitely be rapid they sell out so fast so nice, they don't have any pockets, so it's a bit more like a shirt. I really like them. Wearing them over a t-shirt, over a vest, especially for these autumn months where it's not too cold, you know what I mean? You can get away with wearing something like this. I'm actually going out for Laura's sister's birthday tonight. We're going into Manchester. So I might wear something like this. I might put something together like this. I might whack on an overshirt, maybe a black or white t-shirt underneath, maybe the new Sulfit Cargos. Sorted, it's like a very nice look. I might show you that look towards the end of the video. But yeah, really nice. I like the length on them as well. It's a good length, not too tight, not too baggy. Lovely. So we've got the same overshirt jacket, just in a different colorway. This is a really nice shade of blue, like really, really nice. It's kind of like in between a royal and a teal blue. I actually tried this on in the H&M store a few weeks ago and loved it. I just didn't pick it up because I knew that it was gonna come online. and. At the time, I was going on holiday, so I was like in the mindset of, you know, getting like stuff like shorts and short sleeve shirts, but obviously now it's a bit colder, which is well nice. I really like the check design. 
And the good thing about these overshirts is as well, they don't itch you. They are like a brushed twill fabric. I want to come closer. But it's not itchy. A lot of the times fabric like this is itchy. Which proper pisses me off. Like merino wool is the worst. Might be nice and soft, but itchy on the skin. It's a no for me. Like, on a serious note now, like, what the fuck are these? Like, what the actual fuck are these? I thought they were going to be like some nice flowy material, like the plissé pants I've got. Like them. But no. I got them in a size medium because H&M sizing is weird. And the waistband is not stretchy at all. And they're just like clown pants. Like, what the hell are these? <laughs> Get these off me now, they're disgusting. It's not the one that... So the next couple of items, we actually got this relaxed tracksuit. So this is like a heavyweight material. I think it's part of like the premium collection, I swear it is. So it's 25 quid for the sweater, 25 quid for the joggers. And I'll tell you what, this is a really nice set. Like really nice, I am a big fan of this. Super comfy, the large in the bottoms are perfect. I have tried medium in the past and they've been too tight. So the large is spot on for me. Really nice material, really comfy. If you've seen my best sweatshirts video, you've seen this one was featured. The only thing I'd say is it's like a little bit cropped, so it's a little bit short in the body. So if you're over six foot, maybe just bear that in mind. Those lanky guys out there. I like the colour as well, you know. It'd be nice to like traveling. Me and Laura are going on holiday <laughs> again. This would be a really nice travel outfit or like a Sunday outfit, you know, like running a few errands, watching the F1, watching Super Sunday. Be a nice outfit, this. I like that it's nice and heavyweight, so it's obviously going to keep you nice and warm. And the quality, 50 quid for a tracksuit, the quality feels really good. So over the top of the tracksuit, probably wouldn't wear this to be honest, but I thought, you know what, let's whack it on. So it's another overshirt, this one is a heavyweight overshirt, and it's a bit more of like a jacket material, I'd say. Relaxed fit, size large again, fits over the sweater, so it's not bad. I definitely do prefer the other ones though. This one is a bit more expensive as well, so that one's 25 quid. Different material, but for 25 quid, they're just so good. This one, it's okay, it's all right, it's not as good as the others. The last item we picked up was this grey quarter zip sweater in like a knitted material feels really nice to be honest i went for a size large it is a slim fit so this might be a bit slimmer let's see what it's like anyway again this is really nice like i'm a big fan of this i think i did get some of these last season you know i swear i did I swear these two things very very similar anyway yeah slim fit size large this is the gray one really nice fit when you own something knitted like this i feel like you don't want it to be too loose a more slim fit is better and this gray color is so nice really nice i think these are like 25 quid as well so they're not that expensive do you know what i mean just pairing it with the new sulfate cargo just to show you what it's like but the pants from h&m have been absolute pony they've been shocking like these cargos are just i'm so happy they're finally releasing because I've always struggled to find a pair of cargoes that fit me perfectly. Now these are just tech cargoes with a bit of stretch in them. Delightful. You're going to love them guys. I just thought I'd show you a quick couple ways in which I'd style these overshirts. So this is with the sulfate cargoes, the new tech cargoes. Absolutely delightful. We've just got a plain oversized sulfate t-shirt and we've got some night dunks on the feet. Super simple, but I think really effective. Really nice, simple look really really nice another easy way you could wear the flannel got the grey sulfate cargoes which are dropping into this month we've got some axel arigato genesis in black and then just a plain white tee super simple that's why i love flannels and overshirts you can just make an outfit super easy do you know what i mean That's all the H&M stuff tried on guys. To be honest, not a bad haul. The flannels are my favorite pieces from there. They're the takeaway from this video. Definitely some really nice stuff in H&M at the minute. I just, some of the other pieces like, this jacket was horrendous. The trousers were not great. 
but I quite like this jacket. This jacket is pretty nice. The jumper is really nice. I just need to try a few different things. So there'll be plenty H&M hauls coming in the autumn winter months. So keep an eye on the channel for that. But yeah, like I said, everything will be linked in the description. Go and have a look down there and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good evening, guys. See you later.